Alright, hey there, this is Hades Wanderings. Uh, today we kind of have a special video going on. Today's video is going to be called The Wife Lure Challenge. So what happens is, is that whenever I go to a fishing store, uh, I usually go in with my wife and she likes to pick out lures that she thinks are either pretty or funny or whatever. We went to the Gander's Outdoor Shop in Marquette and Melanie picked out three lures and she challenged me to catch fish with these lures. Um, now I didn't have any say in this. Uh, she just decided to pick the lures because they either had a funny name or she just liked the way they looked. So we're gonna look at these three lures and then we're gonna do some fishing and we're gonna see if we can't catch something. We have the Lunker Hunt prop fish. Uh, this is black, it's like a sunfish pattern right here. Has a little prop on the back of it. Uh, never used a lure like this, but she liked the way it looked. This is actually a lure I would have bought for myself, so I'm actually really happy she picked this out. This is a 130 size Whopper Plopper. Now, the reason she bought this is because on the back of it, the name is Monkey Butt. That's the color of this. And Melanie saw that and she, she just wanted to hear me say that in a video, I'm pretty sure. The next thing was this Live Target Bait Ball Spinner Rig. I would never, ever have bought this lure. The other two lures I probably would have bought, but this thing right here, absolutely not. I, I don't even know what I'm going to do with this. But she challenged me, so we're going to have to catch something. So anyways, we're going to get these lures open, we're going to catch a fish, we're going to have some fun. Uh, hope you guys enjoy this. Fish is gonna crank this thing. I just, I just know it. So we are gonna start with, we're gonna start with this Whopper Plopper right now. Um, the truth is, I'm a little bit worried about a musky biting off one of these lures. So I'm gonna start using this, and I'm gonna be throwing it with a metal leader. That actually is a much larger than I was expecting. Um, but I'm sure a bass will hit that, maybe. Maybe not with a metal leader, though, but I just, I don't want to lose it right off the bat. What the heck? That is a baseball bat. God, I find the weirdest things in the river. to take that home. First cast, just to see what the action looks like. Ooh, I like that. Now there's a fish right over here by this rock. Um, I don't want to spook it, so I think I'm going to cast on the upstream side of it and then bring this past. Oh! Had a bite. There we go. Oh no! Wife challenge. Look at that. It's got a rock bass. Almost not even longer than the lure. Oh! 
Oh, there we go. All right, so I had six bites, six topwater bites on the uh, that monkey butt lure, but I think maybe it's a little bit, I don't know. I'm not feeling it right at this moment. I'll use that lure a little bit later, um, but for now, I'm gonna throw out this, uh, this Lunker Hut prop fish. Um, I feel like the fish in here are a little bit too small for that 130 size uh, whopper plopper and this should be just their size. All right, let's see what this lure looks like in the water. So it's like a frog but it has a little prop on it. Alright, I feel like this is going to get smashed so let's see. First cast. Whoa! 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 That's like a huge bass. Holy smokes! Don't, 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 don't get me out of those rocks! All right, I've decided this lure catches fish. Holy smokes! That right there is a huge fish. All right, that fish is probably about 19 inches. Nice. Oh, ho, oh. holy smokes. That was my second cast. Second cast with that longer hunt. All right, so I just had a probably a 19 inch fish and it pulled me through these rocks, which really beat up my leader. So I'm gonna retie. And I had a, a guy asking the other day how I do my leader knots. So what I'm using right now, I'm using 17 pound fluorocarbon about a foot a foot and a half of this, and then I put on 40 pound fluoro for about a six inch liter then at the end. And the knots that I tie these together, the knot is called a double uni maybe, or a double uni knot. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it, but the knot is really not that difficult to tie. Um, it takes me usually about, I don't know, a minute to tie and I'm just gonna go through it right now so you do this double uni knot I usually go down about five six times with the with the braid this is how I attach braid to mono then I pull through right there and now I have one knot here now I do the exact same thing on the other side with this you loop it around and you simply loop it through uh, four or five times we're gonna do one more loop Now at this point, you um, should probably moisten the knot, so I'm just gonna lick it. And then again, you want to pull it tight. At this point, you have both knots. Moisten the line, and then you just pull them together. 
And at this point, they should cinch down on one another and you now have a connection that's going straight. You lop off both of those tag ends and you have a straight braid to fluoro connection right there. So at this point, I take my foot and a half or so of 17 pound fluoro and I'm gonna add on 40 pound fluoro right here. And that's what I usually use to eliminate pike bite offs. Now it's not enough for musky, like if you're musky fishing, you wanna have, you know, higher fluoro, but it's good enough that if a musky bites, you usually can get that fish in. I haven't had anybody bite through this yet this year, which is good, but it does happen. But you know, I'm not fishing for musky, I'm fishing for smallmouth. Alrighty, let's go. Fish, come on, fishies. Oh, nice. Nice smolly right there. I got thunder in the background, and I just caught another fish on that prop sunfish. Oh, this one's this one's a nice fish too. Well, decent. There we go. Beautiful. Let's try this lure out. Not really sure. Okay, I get it now. That wasn't too bad. Alright, so here's that lure. I actually, you know what, I think this lure is going to get smashed. I take back what I was saying earlier. This lure's kind of cool. Is the bait ball spinner? Alright. Cast, are you serious? The only lure that I didn't think I'd catch fish on, I thought I'd catch them on the top water. Wow, that's a nice smallmouth. Life lure challenge. That is a nice, nice smallie. Wow. Chunky fish caught on the first cast of that lure. Wow. There she goes. There she goes. Okay, so this lure catches fish. <laughs> Oh, this is the only one that I didn't think I'd be able to catch something on. Oh, man, first cast. That's crazy. There we go. Oh, nice fish. I love this little lure. It's so much fun. Oof. Oops, 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 oops. Come here, come here, come here. Hello. Wife challenge. Nice fish. I now caught five. Five with that minnow. I know they're fishing here. There we go. I knew it. <sighs> All right. And they really like. Oh, I think I might have had two bites right there. I'm not sure. There we go. Yeah, I was. And that's a smolly. The first two bites, I think it was biting at the uh, little minnows. There we go. All right. 
I just had a really nice fish just smash my lure uh, right over here in this wood right next to me. Um, I don't really think it was a smallie. I kind of feeling that it might have been a muskie because it just just everything about the strike was wrong. It just it didn't say smallie to me. So I am resetting for just a second and I'm going to see if I can't catch that fish again. I'm gonna toss the same lure in there um, and if it won't hit that same lure I might toss a few different lures in so stick with me for a second we're gonna catch a fish. Wasn't a smallie though. Just a small little pike. I knew there was a fish back there. I just just didn't know it was a pike. There we go. Now this is the second pike. Two pike, two casts. Two pikes, two casts, not a bad fish. Oh. oh, there we go. Wow. That's the fish I was looking for right there. Wow. That fish came completely out of the water on its first smash. Stay in deep, stay in deep, get up here. Wow. And that right there is a monkey butt fish. Ho oh, ho. Check out the size of that fish. Beautiful. All right, so I think that right there is a wrap for the wife lure challenge. She gave me three days to catch fish on all three lures that she picked out, and I've caught chunky smallies on all three lures. Um, I didn't think that I would like the bait ball spinner, but that might actually be my favorite one of all of those lures. It just has really cool action in the water, and it's something new that I don't think the fish have seen before. But uh, I'm gonna keep fishing for a few more minutes and see if I can't catch a few more fish, but I think we're good. As always guys, catch or lease wander.